I don't get it. Get what? Whenever me and Lee have a problem, you always say, don't overreact, talk it through. Was that old bull? Me and James are complicated. He hit me because I provoked him, Dad. That's not an excuse. I said some really terrible things. You know, even I thought I had it coming to me. That still doesn't make it right for him to hit a child. Do you think this is fun for the rest of us? Having to put up with you like this all the time? Excuse me? You are so down without him. No wonder none of your relationships work, because you never actually fight for them. How can I be with someone I can't trust? Because you knew what he was like when you married him. Look, I think James is a smug nightmare, and I really don't like him, but he is trying to get help. And, Dad, you are so happy when you're with him. So, if he's willing to talk, so should you. What's that? Sorry about that. Um, I think I left my keys in my other clothes. I was wondering who might be able to fetch them for me. Go fetch them yourself. Right. Uh, two minutes. Dad. Just give him a chance. You know, you really could have taken this as an opportunity to quit hoarding. This is the last lot, I promise. Mm-hmm. So how are we going to celebrate our first night in our new home, then? Whoa! Steady on. New home? Yes, as of today. Made sense to move near the school. Yes, because the ten-minute commute to work must have been a nightmare for you. Happy New Year, Mr McQueen. Is it? Surprised to see you two. Heard you was heading out for a big night in the loft. Oh, we got kicked out for being underage. What? Have you seen Ella? Uh, why would I have seen Ella? Because uh, we're all mates. Um, uh, yeah, I think she's gone away with Norma, hasn't it? Dylan! No, oh, please don't be a girl. Please don't be a girl. Yes! Andre. Evening, guy. Hey, Dylan. You look really amazing. Do I? I literally just threw this on as I walked out. That's so cool. Carter. Bit of a step down for a headmaster, isn't it? Well, I don't define myself by material possessions. Plus, there are many perks to living in the area. Never been called that before. Don't flatter yourself. Stop this now, yeah? Just stop living in denial. Denial? Denial about what? Uh, he is our new head of French, Jacques Denil. So, uh, John Paul was just asking about him. Oh, oh. Does someone have a petit crush? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Although I'm starting to think I'm wasting my time. Well, don't say that. Any man would be lucky to have you. Hello. <laughs> is uh, John Paul inviting you to our party? I've just been shopping for stuff for midnight. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as lovely as that sounds, we have dinner reservations. So. That we do. Happy New Year. <laughs> and to you. See ya. Happy New Year. You know, I'm really glad that you two have made it up since his behaviour at the Christmas party. Would have been a shame to start the new year on bad terms. And he seems much happier now. Maxine it must be exactly what he needs. Losers round. <laughs> Why are you watching me? Oh. Uh, Charlie, let me help you with that. Even though I don't drink. Don't drink, you know. Yeah, so I was thinking of going to the cinema tomorrow. You could tag along if you wanted. Yeah, sounds good. He's going. Me, obviously. Sorry, Leah, I... I just don't like you like that. 
Hmm? I thought we were going to go to the cinema. Look, I don't fancy you, OK? Well, I guess I'll see you in the new year, then. Wait. Lucas thinks we need to talk. What do you think? That I'm not as forgiving as my son. Stay up. I'm deeply ashamed of hitting Lucas. But I assure you, I, I'm, I'm taking steps. Signed up to an anger management course. And how's that going? Not oh, great, actually. Uh, I signed up and then my life coach announced he was going away for Christmas. I almost punched a wall. Not funny. Yeah, sorry. The most terrifying part of hitting Lucas was that I could feel my father in the room. And he was smiling. I've tried to erase every part of that man from my life. But in that moment, it was like he'd never left. He used to say that I would die alone and unloved. And all it took was a split second of anger to prove him right. Do you believe that? I hope not. But I do know I, I don't want this to be the end of our marriage. James. How can I be with someone I can't trust around my own kids? I know. And I understand. But I intend to prove to you that you can trust me. Oh. And how do you intend to do that? I know that I often put my own interests ahead of yours and Leah's and Lucas's. Well, that's going to change. No one ever sticks to the New Year's resolutions. I will. Starting tomorrow with Lucas's football game. He's got a game tomorrow. Yeah. Already packed my opera glasses. Well, maybe I'll see you there. There's no maybe about it. Whatever it takes, we will be together again. What do you think about Andre? But do I really look like I care? Like, I just don't know whether I should trust him, you know? Right, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I think that this is the lamest party I've ever been to. Leah! Hey, sorry about Dylan. Like, I know it must have been kind of humiliating. No, why is everyone still bringing that up? But I'm fine, I can do much better than him. I mean, in fact. I'm sorry that I've not been responding to you. It's just, it's been a bit manic at home recently. It's fine. It's not like I'm starved of offers anyway. The what offers? It's almost midnight. And the question is, who am I going to kiss when the clock strikes 12? Why wait? Your mum is going to be so happy that you skipped your party to be here instead. You think so? But now she's stuck inside fixing mascara. She's going to miss a countdown. I told her getting those photos of bronzer out was a bad idea. Mm. <laughs> it's a shame Carter can't be here. Like you said, he's got other plans. Right, here we go. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
to go down there and join him? No. I'd rather be here with you. Oh. <laughs>